Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and how to install Minecraft on a Linux platform. I'm actually doing this on Ubuntu, but I think you could do it with any other Linux distribution. So uh, it's really simple. So the first thing that you need to do is that uh, Minecraft, from my understanding, is a 3D application. So you need the best and the latest graphics driver. Now, if you are running a NVIDIA or a GeForce graphics, uh, graphics, graphics card, yeah, make sure that you have the latest updates so now with Ubuntu if you go into I believe uh, software updates and within software updates is an option that basically tells you uh, additional drivers within additional drivers you're gonna see all your uh, like your Nvidia your graphics card your PCI card sound card whatever kind of card you have on your machine you're gonna see here just make sure that you have the latest and greatest uh, graphics processor driver for me because I'm running everything in a virtual environment I get to cheat a little I don't have any drivers at all once you got your drivers your graphics processor drivers up and running with the latest drivers latest updates firmware whatever you want to call it uh, you guys want to go into the uh, Ubuntu software center once the Ubuntu software center loads up I need you guys to go in and, and kind of locate a Java runtime program and the one that I kind of recommend is called open JDK uh, so let's go into the nice little search box and go to open JDK and hit enter now when you hit enter you're gonna get yourself two options or four options uh, the only two that are kind of legit is the open JDK Java 6 runtime or 7 runtime uh, I kind of run, recommend run the latest one which is 7 hit install and uh, once it hits install it's gonna ask you to authenticate if your Ubuntu or your Linux operating system is locked down like that so I'm gonna kinda authenticate it for it to uh, install and once it installs uh, I'm gonna let this install and the next thing that you wanna do is go into your uh, favorite browser within your Linux distribution mine is Firefox or Chrome whichever one you know whichever one works best right and I need you guys to go navigate into minecraft.net forward slash download again I'm gonna place this link at the bottom of the description so you guys could go get yourself a copy or for those minecraft individuals that are already into minecraft you probably know where to get this information at right so you want to download the minecraft.jar which is about 86 kilobits now for this to actually work you guys need to uh, also have a Minecraft account It's uh, for this to work. If you purchase it, you don't have to use the demo. If you didn't purchase it, you could use the demo and I think it is only going to last for five games or an hour and a half or something. So I'm going to click on a little photo so I can locate it and there we go. I'm going to close my Firefox and I'm going to minimize this to the side and let's check our installation for our Java. Okay, so installation is completed. Awesome. So once installation is completed, we're going to close our Ubuntu Software Center because we don't need it right now. Uh, we want to go back into our location of where our Minecraft.jar file is located. Now, uh, you could double click on it, but probably you're going to get an error. So you need to right click on the file and go to properties. And we need to make this, uh, and you know, we need to make it to an executable file. So check allow executing file as a program and we're going to close on that and then when you double click on it, it it's going to uh, launch the terminal and start and install all the goodies that you need for this to run properly once everything is completed you're going to get yourself a nice little dialog box as you can see uh, minecraft launcher 1.53 and you need to log into your address which i have a an account and I'm going to log in. Hopefully I remember my username and my password. So let's hit log in. If you don't have a, uh, an account, you can actually register on the spot. It's real simple. Once you're inside, you're gonna get a nice little Minecraft news of what's going on. It's a lot going on, right? Uh, and then you wanna hit play demo. Now, if you already purchased the account when you log in uh, and your account is already associated, associated with you already paying for the application, it's not going to say play demo, it's going to go straight play and then you can play the full version. Right now it's downloading whatever it needs for it to start running and uh, I'll catch you guys once it's done, right? 
Okay guys, so once the demo installation is already completed, if you purchase it again, it's not going to be a demo. Uh, so I'm going to close this downloads folder. And as you can see, Minecraft 1.8 is there. Uh, we're going to play the demo world. It launches. Again, I think when I first started playing around with this, so I tested this out before I did the video for, for you guys. Uh, a lot of stuff is going haywire. And I think the fact that everything is going haywire for me is because I'm not using a uh, processor I'm not using the processor so it pops up saying Minecraft demo mode it basically gives you the rundown how to use it uh, you probably already know how to do it you could purchase it now but the demo will only last five in-game days which is about one hour and 40 minutes on real up to real time uh, so you can continue again because I was not um, I don't have a graphics process as you can see I'm trying to control it and it's just going haywire and the reason why is because my virtual machine doesn't have a um, doesn't have a proper uh, graphics processor. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video of how to install Minecraft within your Linux distribution or within Ubuntu, because I, I, that's what I'm you know install that's what I installed it into Ubuntu. And uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the comment section. And don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.